everyone, I'm Lauren Kidd and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. New content comes out every Monday. If you are returning, welcome back. So who am I? I'm Lauren Kidd. I am a business strategist for the Busy Mompreneur. I teach moms how to start, run, and scale their online businesses while being present in their kids' lives. What are we going to talk about today? This is something that a lot of people have been asking for, so let's dive into it. So we're going to talk about five different tips to hiring a business coach. So there's tons and tons and tons and tons of us around the market, right? So how do you know which one to align with? How do you know who's good? How do you know who's going to waste your money? How do you know who, maybe you've already hired a coach and you're like, biggest waste of money in my life. Been there, done that. I feel ya. I can't even tell you how much money I've wasted on business coaches, but we'll get to that. So how do you know who's a good fit for you? How do you know who's a good investment? We are going to cover that today in the five tips for hiring a business coach. My first tip is that you've got to go with your gut. Okay, so I am a firm believer that our gut is really the, the driving factor for all of our really good decisions. Sometimes our really bad decisions, but mostly our really good decisions. Especially as mompreneurs, we are gut driven. We have a sense that something is going to happen, whether it's good or bad, and we should go with our gut. We should listen to our gut. Of course, we should listen to our mind, but there's just something about being a mom that you get that extra intuition and you're just like, oh, this is going to be a really good decision. Oh my God. Even though I'm terrified, you should feel kind of scared because it's going to be a big change. It's going to be a big step forward. You're going to have those butterflies. You're going to have that nervous, ah, but you also know that it's going to be amazing. So go with your gut. If you are truly thinking about it and you followed somebody for a long time and you're like, okay, this is it. This is the opportunity. Go with your gut. The second one, make sure that they have proven results. This is something very important. <laughs> or that they'll let you talk to past clients. Now, I'm not saying that they need to be like, okay, here's, you know, 700 people that I've worked with. You feel free to contact all of them. I work with moms, some of them in very small businesses, and they don't want to be contacted. And that's fine. That's, that's completely their prerogative. They also don't want to be messaged on their personal pages by strangers because that's the page for them and their family and their kids. And that you need to be able to respect. That being said, I also have a laundry list of clients who are absolutely willing to talk to anybody and everybody. And not all of them got the most amazing results. I cannot guarantee that anybody will work. That being said, they still got some kind of result that is, to them, mind-blowing. So you want to make sure that whoever it is that you're working with can provide the results that they say that they're going to provide. Make sure that they've got testimonials somewhere on their page or on their, on their business whatever somewhere. Make sure that they've got somebody that you could potentially talk to to you know really get a feel for if this is going to be worth your while. I can't tell you how many times I invested without ever asking to talk to somebody that they've worked with, without ever asking <laughs> you know if the results that they claimed to give were actually results that they gave. Be sure that they have proven results. Number three, Make sure that they have been consistently serving their community for a number of years. So to me, this is very, very important because there's tons of business coaches now, tons of business strategists, tons of business and success coaches, tons of mindset coaches out there now. Everybody's calling themselves a coach. How do you know who's, who's there for you? Well, if you've been in business for a while and you're just either spinning your wheels or you can't seem to break through that next income barrier, hiring somebody fresh out of the, I'm a new coach, yay, might not be the best fit for you. They just showed up onto the scene. Are they 10 steps ahead of you? You want to make sure whoever you align with has been through what you are going to go through next, right? You want to make sure that they're on the other side of the hill that you're climbing. So they know how to bring you through that hill quicker. So that they know how to get you over without all of the mistakes. They should be able to teach you how to not make their mistakes. I am all for teaching you how to not make the mistakes that I made. Like wasting money on coaches. <laughs> 
So make sure that they have been consistently surveyed. Check out their business page, okay? Please don't go to their Facebook personal page and look for their business, okay? A Facebook personal page should be just that. It should be personal. And if they are running their business on a personal page, opinion, but look at those who are multimillionaires, billionaires. Are they running their businesses on their personal page? No. You want to make sure that they've got a professional business. They have a website. They've got a business page. They even potentially have a group. They've got a channel. They've got some legitimate business and they're not just running it as a handyman kind of thing off of their personal page. Make sure that they have been consistently serving in a business area that you're looking for for years. Number four, make sure that they're reasonably priced. Okay, again, this is very controversial, but if they're like, hey, it's $10,000 for three months, on what planet do you live? Okay, what planet do you live? And are you guaranteeing gold at the end of the rainbow? Because I work with moms, and I work with moms who make a lot of money. Like $10,000 is something that they can be like, okay, fine, here you go. They can sneeze it out and that's fine. And it's absolutely possible. That being said, why? Why? Or $100,000 for three months. I spent a lot of money once. <laughs> a lot of money on a coach who guaranteed fluffy unicorns and rainbows. And I got less than what I got at a $100 seminar that I attended. It was a lot of money wasted. So you want to make sure that they are reasonably priced because you don't want somebody who's got their head in the clouds trying to teach you how to build a sustainable business. Yeah, maybe they're making a lot of money right now, but are they going to be around for the long run? I get a lot of flack for this because I am very reasonably priced, but I also know my target audience. I know what they need. And it does not mean that you don't increase your prices. My prices have drastically increased since I started. That being said, I also know my market. So make sure that whoever you're working with is reasonably priced and doesn't have their head in the clouds saying, I can offer you rainbows and sunshine for $100,000 for three months. Because that's not realistically reasonable. I have worked with multimillionaires for an entire year for $10,000. I'm not paying Susie Sunshine off of Facebook $100,000 for three months when I could learn from a multimillionaire for $10,000. Make sure that they're reasonably priced. <laughs> and number five, you want to make sure that you, I don't know, for a lack of a better word, vibe with them, right? You want to make sure that you are you know, you could get along. You could see yourself having a conversation with them. You can see yourself getting into the nitty gritty of your business without being like, oh, this is awful and painful. And you're not in a an entirely yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir relationship because it's something that you actually can build a relationship around. I probably only have one or two clients that I've ever worked with that I don't actually continue to keep up with, even though they're not actively paying me. I still am genuinely concerned with how their businesses are going. And that's something that you want to look for in a business coach. You want somebody who actually will check in with you, who cares how you know your business is going. Success, not success, will offer you actual tips in order to move you forward. So what are the five things that you really need to look for when hiring a business coach? One, trust your gut. Your gut is usually 99.9999% right. Number two, make sure that they've got proven results, proven results and can show you and don't mind showing you. Number three, that they have been consistently serving their audience for a number of years. Number four, that they are reasonably priced and they don't have their heads in the clouds. And number five, that you can get along with them, that you can vibe with them, that they are somebody who understands you and that you can understand them. Those are my five tips for hiring a business coach. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next Monday.